Proper Context Media, we back. Battle Rap is about narratives and context. We're here to remove the narrative and bring and bring Battle Rap back to his, at least in dialogue, his proper context. It's your boy, Musa 74. What's going on? How y'all doing? Before we get to it, you already know, like and subscribe to the real Musa 7414 on Twitter. Subscribe to the channel. Cole's not here today, but subscribe to him as well. You know what we do. We can't get to the root and need to get it to the branches. Let's go ahead and get to it. So the URL has released, you know, the names and the picks for the UN5 tournament. But hold on. Before I even get there, before I even get there, let me say this. There was a lot of people, you know, we thought was going to be on there. There was a lot of people who was, you know, was supposed to be on there. Like, Let's take 40 bars, for instance. We all thought 40 was going to be on. Like, listen, when they got to the last two names and they didn't announce 40, like, it was so awkward in the space that, you know, and me and the boss got so much love for 40, we just, like, started making up an argument. Like, hey, yeah, man, I knew I knew 40 wasn't going to be in there. The boss like, oh, no, you ain't knew 40 back up. Yes, I did. I did. No, no, no. Then I had to, then I had to DM him, like, yeah, you know, that damn, like, they ain't even tell for it. That's kind of crazy. She's like, yeah, I know. That's kind of crazy. Listen, it was, listen, it was like, it was a lot of names we thought was going to be on there. And it was a lot of people who felt like they were supposed to be on there. A lot of people just got the call late. You know what I mean? So it was like, I don't know. Whatever happened. Like, I would have loved to see 40 on there, though. That would have been good for me. Like, I would have, I felt like it would have, you know, with that pressure of every two weeks and all that, you know, Especially with you know her having anxiety and stuff like that is related to the battle. I feel like that pressure might have helped her, you know. And you know, me having so much love for her, I just wanted her to be in there. I wanted her to get that her shine. I wanted her to just do good, you know. What I mean, I just wanted her to have that spotlight, be on caffeine every two weeks. I just wanted to see forty. I was disappointed. Facts. Fuck out of here. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to let's just get to let's get to the. I was there when he was doing the picks. Like, you know, we was in the spaces going and check out, you know, it's probably on YouTube. I was in there. We was all in there. So when they turned over the first name, it was she versus Nana. The first thing I thought was, damn, didn't they just battle on March 5th? Like, so they just battled. And it's a lot of rematches in here. Like, it's a lot of rematches. Like, you got the real name Brandon and Twerk rematch, but the most, the craziest rematch is the JC and O Red. They already battled twice, but we get to that. So she versus none of them. They flipped them on like, damn, like these brothers just battled like two months ago, like fresh, like. And they like they battled two years ago when they got to think of like damn five and battle this nigga again. I'm I got a bar for no nigga, they battled two months ago. Like that's crazy. But like, you know, shout out to both of them. I like both of them. Mm. Man, none of be getting crazy. I kind of got none of two one, but I want she to do well. I won't be surprised if she wins. Next, man, they flipped over fucking head ice first shooting. Now I know. I wish I could have seen a lot of people face when they flipped over head ice, but I like head ice, man. I fuck with head ice. I fuck with a shout out to the wolf. And I ain't here to bash nobody. You know, we don't do that here. I don't feel like no battle rapper trash or nothing. We don't do that here. Not proper context media. So shout out to the wolf. I liked it that. Fact. But I do think, I do think Shuni in a different bag though. Like Shuni cooking, like Shuni different. Like especially after watching that Fonz battle, like imagine what she about to do for a hundred. Like listen, I don't know. I got Shuni two one. Everybody saying Shuni thirty. I don't know. I don't know. She might thirty. I don't know. Who knows? Now let's get this. stumbles versus real sick. Shout out to Stumbles. But mm. and real sick, you know, we seen him in UM1. You know, he's from that UM1 class. 
he um he lost to Jaden Nightwing in the uh the first round. So like at the end of the day, stumbles can win. Stumbles can win. Like I don't know. Like this one, I might. This one, I might be an upset for me because stumbles could win. Stumbles going there and get crazy. He probably, you know, he still got that material for Snake Eyes too. You know, he probably plucked from that. Like, huh? Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. This kind of crazy, but real sick is like that. Real sick, that nigga. He ain't about to. I don't know. Real sick going like he ain't gonna show up to just lose in the first round, especially the stumbles. So I don't. Boy, boy, I got real sick to one. But man, stumbles might come in that bitch and wild out. It might be an upset. Might be an upset. Silk versus Swamp. Let's talk about it. She got crazy against Miss Miami. He did get crazy. So I'm he did get crazy. Swamp, I ain't seen, I ain't seen the battle with Dot yet. They said Swamp got crazy though. Like, I don't know what y'all think. Like, I don't know what y'all think. Damn, man. You know. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm a URL era nigga. Like. You know, the Tay Rocks, the two serve, the K-Shines, the Calico, the Shugs, Hitman. Like, I'm that era. Like, and I like new era. I'm going Shug 2-1. So I might wild well, out, though. But I got Shug 2-1. Like, I'm from, I, I, you, listen, I'm from that era. You know what I mean? Like, I love that era, that URL, which really, you know, yeah, you know, the Smack era laid the foundation, but that URL era really, like, made it famous. Like, you know, cool, Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell laid the foundation in the NFL, but, like, Magic and Bird and and Jordan, they, they made it famous. They made it take off to what it is. And I feel like Sue Surf and Tay Rock and all that URL era really made, you know, really, like, made URL, like, what it was. They took it to that extra level because you had superstars in it. You got superstars in it. Hitman Holler, Conceited. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you can say Conceited from that, but you know, Conceited from the grind tire. But you got, you know, Hitman, Sue Surf, Tay Rock, Calico, like that URL era. Like, you know, so Shield was part of that. And I like how I like I like this I like this Shield. I'm gonna go Shield two one, and because really for real, for real, both of them got problems with you know. Stumbling and choking, so pause. But so two weeks, you can't. You know, I got shield two one. <coughs> to me, battle of the first round is going to be the next one. Fonz versus Pastavia. Mm. Boy, listen. You know, gun titles. I ain't even about to play. I love her statement, but listen, Fonz is Fonz on a different <laughs> that nigga operating on a different wavelength. Like I hey man, listen. I don't know. Listen, that boy different. And he, the winner of you and one, like he know how to play, he know how to like go in that tournament and really come out with them W's. Prestavia, nice. I don't feel like she going. To be Fonz though, I got Fonz, I got Fonz two one, sadly. But I but but listen, hold on though, hold on. I wouldn't be surprised if Prestavia go in there and walk. I love Prestavia's gun title. I wouldn't be surprised she go in there and walk. Like Prestavia might it might be. I'm a matter of fact. Fuck that gun title. I'm gonna call this two one either way. I'm using the two one either way. I get a two one either way on air card. This the one I'm using it on. Two one either way. Now, let's get to the JC versus O-Red. Like, first of all, JC versus O-Red battled like eight years ago. You know, come on, man. Y'all don't know? Like, I know the history. JC and O-Red battled like eight years ago, the first time. They had a two-round battle. I think I gave the first round of O-Red and the second to JC. Well, it might have been flipped, but it was 1-1. One, one. 
Second battle, I gave JC one. Like, this is the third time. This is the third time they battle. It's kind of crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, y'all about three times. This is going to be the third time. I got JC, though. But listen, oh, Red is the king of the, if this is If this happens in that, like, small caffeine set, it might get a, it might get dark for a lot of you niggas because, you know, oh, Red, the king of the volumes. It might get dark for you niggas in there. Y'all might have to, you know, I'm just saying. I got JC 2-1, but, oh, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, Gichi versus Trufo. Chicago, what up? You see? You see it behind me? You see it? You see it? Love Gichi. Love Gichi. Come on. EFB, all of that, like, three-time champion of the year. Give him three winner. Like, just Gichi got it. Top battle rapper in the world. Trufo, man. Win or lose, bro. I'm proud of you. Chicago proud of you. You got Gitchy Gotti on your record. Everybody be talking about her. And listen, I heard some weird nigga on there. I seen some weird nigga on. We was on live with um Three Letterman saying some extra stuff. Talking about, you know, you wasted your time. How was a waste of time when $100,000 on the line? Like, what are you supposed to just sit at home and watch another nigga go for it? Well, he can go for it. We never know what could happen. Like, didn't clean just... Arguably, get beat you, be beat you, Paul. Like, we don't know what could happen. We was to sit on this couch and watch another nigga go for a hundred grand when he could be out there battling for us. Man, it's a waste of time. Hey, yo, y'all niggas say anything on here. Y'all niggas automatically counting nigga out as soon as you know. Oh, it's Gitchi Gotti. Oh, this, 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 that. Like, Gitchi has lost before. Circumstances. It's any given Sunday. I'm even. I'm even one of the ones who thought that Jack Boy was going to die against T Top. Facts. Jack Boy went in there and wild T top off. Like anything can happen. Y'all playing. Y'all be forgetting like niggas is hungry. It's a hundred thousand dollars on the line. And nigga, we from Chicago. Nigga, we don't get them type of opportunities here. Like facts. Y'all know what we go through on an everyday basis. For real, for a lot of you niggas is making money off of the shit that we do. Y'all glorify all making documentaries and this on the south about the south side or oh, this the west side or oh, this and that in Chicago, taking the drill music sound and bringing it to other places. Y'all making money off of the shit that we go through in everyday life. This nigga about to come in and they both could talk that shit. This nigga about to come in there for a hundred grand. Y'all know what this nigga listen, y'all know what we would do in real life for a hundred grand. Where we from? Fuck is you talking about? Talking about it's a waste of time. Ain't no waste of time for no hundred thousand. That's for you weird ass niggas who be out here talking about, oh, oh, it's a waste. Of, he gonna beat you anyway. You don't know what's gonna happen now. If he go in there and beat Gitchy, then what's gonna happen? I got you four two one. I love Gitchy, but it's not ride with the city. The same way them niggas in the West gonna ride for whoever they riding for, no matter what, nigga. We riding in the city like that. Period. One thing y'all know about Chicago is yeah, we beef within the city, but as soon as we step out of there, nigga, we from Chicago. Like, this battle rap, nigga, I'm standing with my city. No matter what, you know, side we might be on, nigga, it's battle rap. Nigga, I'm going for true folk. Facts, period. That's it. Y'all niggas is like, stop acting like he just automatically lost. And if he do lose, cool. He went for it. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Facts. A thousand mile journey starts at one step. Nigga don't know what you might walk into. You might walk into a W, then what? Nigga might actually win. And if he lose, good. At least he tried. Then what? If he didn't go for it, and he and, and soon as he didn't go for it, you know what I mean? And, and then somebody else win, and he online like, damn, I could have won that nigga. Be like, oh, you talking that shit, but you ain't even want to be in the tournament. No, man, shut the f Listen. True for two one. I love you, G. Gitchy the best right now. Like, he number one in the world. Facts. He number one. He's won champion of the year three times. Like, what we talking about? Three times champion of the year. He the best. It's like winning the MVP three times. Like, what? He won it two years in a row. Somebody else won it, then he won it again. Like, he LeBron right now. What you talking about? It is what it is. Like, it's almost going to get to the point where, you know, like in 1993, when Charles Barkley got the MVP, and they're like, why you ain't give it to Jordan? And David Stern said, well, I can't give it to Jordan every year. Somebody else got to get it. We can't always just give it to Jordan. Facts. It's going to be like that with Gitchy. 
Always. I'm not, we got to give it to somebody. We can't keep giving it to Geechee. Like, what the fuck? Facts. It's almost to that point. Like, Geechee, number one. So, like, Chufo, I feel like Chufo hungry. You're going to step in there. And the belt on the line. Facts. They called up. In the two, I was in the space. Geechee called up while doing no studio. Go check out. Subscribe to no studio. Subscribe to Geechee. Got it. All that. He called up. Hey, you gonna put the belt on the line. Surf was in there. Surf said, yeah. Everything's stamped. Let's go. I feel like that's gonna be a fire battle. I feel like they're gonna be in there talking that shit. Both of them gang. Like, <coughs> I don't know much about Crips and Bloods because, you know, I'm from Chicago. You know, I know I'd have been other places. I know, like, I know about it, you know, generally, of course. But, you know what I mean? We don't got that in the city. Chicago, one of the only places that, you know, other gang cultures haven't invaded the city like chicago got their own gang culture as a matter of fact we really invented it you know what i mean so chicago got their own gang culture bloods and crips never infiltrated chicago like the other city like there's gangs that's been there since like you know rooted since like you know the 1950s 1960s there's certain gangs that's been there since you know a long time 70s and you know it's like nah so they're gonna be in there talking that shit like you know I don't know much about that, but I know about them. I know about what you folk gonna be talking about. I know about them. I ain't foe. I'm, I'm GD, but I know about them. Facts. And I know what them niggas doing every day out here. I know how them niggas stepping. I don't know about how other niggas stepping, but I know how them niggas stepping. So I don't know. Them, that's gonna be an interesting talk to me. We're gonna see how it work out. But last battle. They last battle they flip. Real name Brandon versus Twerk. What the fuck is the odds? What is the odds? Like, what's the odds of Twerk? And real name Brandon rematching. After what just happened. After I niggas crucified Twerk before the choke and all of that. Hey, real name Brandon, you got a long, you got an uphill battle. I think like Twerk still got a whole round. Like imagine what he didn't. Like he got a whole, he already got a round. He only got a right two rounds. And imagine the shit that he didn't get out. Like he forgot everything on the haymaker. He was what four eight bars in. Imagine what he really. Got. Oh my god, I got Twerk. I don't know. I'm calling everything 2-1 because I don't feel like it's going to be no third respectfully, even the head ice and shooting it. Like, you know, respectfully, I don't, you know, $200,000 on the line. I feel like everybody hungry. I feel like everybody going to show up. I feel like it's going to be, y'all keep on saying this and saying that. I feel like everybody going to show up. It's $100,000 on the line. Y'all playing. Y'all be playing on people's name. 100000 Like, some of these people from the slums, you don't know what a nigga do for 100000 right now. A hundred thousand dollar play right now in front of you, and you gonna get that fact. Because if some of these niggas in the tournament right now, if a hundred thousand dollar play they had on the street, nigga, they might you know, and it was there, nigga might say, "Fuck this tournament, I'm gonna get that real quick. I can get that right here." Like niggas is really like fucked up. Like I mean, I'm not fucked up. I mean, niggas is really like out there like that. Some niggas might be really fucked up like that. Never know what a nigga might do. Niggas is starving. Nigga might go in there and wild you up for that hunter. Keep playing. Y'all playing with these niggas. All right? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a dope tournament. A lot of people talking about the names. I like it. I like the names. I feel like there's a lot of hungry people here. Pause. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of niggas. Real name Brandon, he won. You on four. Truck looking for redemption. You know, shoot folk feel like, you know, maybe he feel like he might be feeling like he fighting for a spot on the URL and he hungry. Even if he do good and got to get you on the resume, nigga might be, you know, that might push him over the, the edge a little bit. Like, you know, JC O'Reilly got something to talk about. You know what I mean? They both veterans in the game. Like, it's a lot. I, you know, Swamp, sure. They got a lot to talk about. Like, for real, for I ain't gonna lie. Everybody was hoping for that Geechee and Twerk, boy. They would have just picked one, the other number, boy. Who had a Geechee and Twerk rematch, and that would have been crazy. 
Yo, they would have picked one number. That listen, that would have been crazy. That would have been crazy. Yeah, that would have been crazy. So that's the predictions. You on five? All of y'all subscribe to the channel. I mean, we trying to get our followers up, trying to get our subscribers up. Please like and subscribe to Proper Context Media. I'm Musa 74. Y'all have a good night.